No new rules about it. You just can't rip off part of someone else's song. But that's exactly what Dua Lipa is accused of this morning. The pop superstar currently facing two separate lawsuits, accusing her of copyright infringement for her hit song, Levitating. I need you. The song was number one on Billboard's 2021 year-end Hot 100 chart. If you have the song that's the biggest song in the world that year, someone's going to at some point find you and say, I get a part of this. The first lawsuit filed by a Florida reggae band called Article Sound System, claiming 2020's Levitating is a ripoff of their 2017 song, Live Your Life. The second lawsuit filed on Friday claims Levitating is substantially similar to the 1979 song Wiggle and Giggle All Night, written by L. Russell Brown and Sandy Linzer. I was walking down the street when I saw the times of Soldier Boy winkle winkle winking at me. He said, For comparison, if you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I could take you for a ride. The complaint saying, quote, the notes move in the same direction with evenly matched intervals or steps and almost identical rhythms. It also points out that Dua Lipa has given multiple interviews saying that she drew inspiration from past disco era songs while writing this album. Dua Lipa, certainly not the first star hit with copyright infringement lawsuits. Ariana Grande, Ed Sheeran and Katy Perry accused in the past. And back in 2015, Robin Thicke and Pharrell Williams were ordered to pay $5 million to the Marvin Gaye estate in a lawsuit claiming Blurred Lines copied Gaye's song, Gotta Give It Up. Dua Lipa has yet to address either of the lawsuits filed against her. She might just pay it off. They get a, a cut of the songwriting royalties and move along. She's got too much happening. She's touring. She's got a new single on Friday. Uh, like, why, why bother? No word on exactly how much money the plaintiffs in both lawsuits are seeking, but lawyers for Brown and Linzer did include puns in their filing, writing, quote, defendants have levitated away plaintiffs' intellectual property. In the court of public opinion, though, a lot of people saying this sounds real similar. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.